Welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about a go-around which is an aborted landing by an aircraft on final approach. This can be initiated by the pilot or ATC and requires immediate input and a climb to return to the pattern or ATC assigned altitude. Go-arounds may be initiated by the pilot if separation cannot be maintained due to an aircraft on the same or intersecting runway, the aircraft ahead becomes too close, or an unstable approach. We are at our final approach speed, and I recognize an aircraft lined up on the runway as well as another one exiting. With or without ATC, I'm already anticipating a go-around. The responsibility to initiate a go-around lies equally between the pilot and the controller. ATC has just instructed me to go around, so I simultaneously set takeoff for go-around thrust, retract my flaps to a takeoff setting, and pitch for 15 degrees. With a positive rate of climb, we'll retract our gear. Always maintain runway heading, then respond to air trap control to acknowledge the go-around and pattern entry instructions. Once 1,000 feet above the airport's elevation, I reduce to a climb power setting, lower the nose to 10 degrees and begin accelerating, retracting my flaps as needed at the appropriate speeds. As I approach the pattern altitude 1,500 feet above the airport's elevation, I begin to level off, reduce power and maintain 190 knots to begin my left crosswind turn to enter the left traffic pattern as instructed by the tower. Always aviate, navigate, then communicate. Go-arounds can happen at any point during your approach, so you must prioritize aviating first before all else to ensure a proper, stable, and safe climb away from the airport. Note that takeoff go-around power or toga power settings may vary. Aircraft with a low landing weight typically call for 90 to 100% N1, while you may need maximum available thrust at high elevations or for a heavy landing weight. It's also important to note that you should always fly runway heading until the departure and before making any turns unless assigned a heading by approach or departure. Aircraft may need to offset left or right of the runway during a go-around if traffic is departing, so always remain vigilant. If you found this helpful, be sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Also follow us on social media at Infinite Flight to stay connected. I'll see you next time.